What is going on everybody? Psycho Black here with the Psycho Squad and today we're going to be doing uh, an Injustice video. Tomorrow is the character reveal. Now last week we didn't really get a reveal. We got more of like a trailer which was badass. It was Shattered Alliances but we also got a reveal in the trailer which was Cyborg. Who was the reveal? And that was Shattered Alliances Part 1. Now tomorrow the reveal is supposed to take place as of March 2nd and... It usually goes off around the t like afternoon and whatnot, but hopefully we get something else. Now, if we do indeed get another part to the Shattered Alliances, and you can see this is part one, which was featured in the trailer. If we get part two, I wonder what they're going to feature, and my guesses are that it's going to be somewhat along the lines of Green Arrow. But before we go into that, I want to talk really quick about last week's trailer and what we saw. So we got to see Cyborg. Now, in this picture of Cyborg that I have a screenshot, he's obviously fighting Blue Beetle. They're kind of like the same counterpart in some way, a little bit. Um, you can see Cyborg got some upgrades. He's rocking the white. His character model looks a lot darker, actually, uh, than it did in the previous game. Uh, and we have someone here in the back. Now, who this is, I have no idea. Um... I've been looking around trying to figure out who this is and I just I can't I don't know what this is this looks somewhat as the holding cell that Superman was in now if that is Superman which it actually might be Superman now that I think about it this looks like the holding cell that they had him in in the end of uh, Injustice 1 Injustice Gods Among Us this looks like the holding cell now the character model looks somewhat similar but it's too far back for me to be able to tell now if you guys think this is superman you know uh let me know down below in the comments but he does have some sort of silver plated lining along his torso there along the you know his uh along his right side yeah i believe that's the right side yeah and he has something else over there on his arm as well now i don't know exactly what that is so if or if it is even is superman but it does look like this is some sort of dampening chamber that superman was locked in in the last uh in the last in, in the last game now coming over here we have another shot of cyborg firing off at batman and you can see this other figure here which was identified to be as robin in the trailer uh you can see over here that we have a close-up of two things right here. this actually doesn't look like batman actually it has like a green looks like it has almost has a green helmet but i just got a zoomed in shot of that we have the back view we have robin over here rocking the hood which would be damian wayne in this game cyborg here at the bottom this is just a, a flip shot and we have batman now switching over here to robin you can see him and batman are actually talking to each other now they're actually talking to each other in this game and there's also guys i don't want to i'll get to it right now but there's more speculation as to robin and batman re bringing their relationship back together like i talked about which was a leaked rumor uh you can also see really quick that robin's armor has we actually see a, an armor change you see his hair is very short and he has the mask on but over here in the swamp thing trailer he has the mask on and the hood on now if this is sort of an armor variation or if he just has his hood down who knows i mean you can see his hoods down over here but in this other picture his hood looks like it's also down he has something there that you know he has the same little uh texture there and you can see the yellow from the inside of the hood that's actually on his back so maybe it's just a hoodie thing you know maybe he picks it up throughout the campaign or maybe this is another type of armor set who knows maybe we'll get a further in-depth look but what i do want to talk about is that we are seen we are shown in this trailer that robin and batman are fighting alongside somewhat especially over here you can see batman and robin together you know um just fighting you know they're obviously confronting cyborg about something uh i don't know what that is yet maybe because it has something to do with cyborg uh being over here in the chamber i don't know uh but this looks like something that cyborg would probably have something to do with uh and batman wouldn't be happy about it if that is indeed superman then <clears throat> sorry excuse me if that is indeed superman cyborg was probably trying to bust them out and uh, let the regime rise once again now Batman and Robin fighting alongside is sort of confirming the rumor now guys this is where spoilers get really intense this is possible potential spoilers uh, so if you don't want to be spoiled please 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 do not listen any further this could possibly be something in the game of a very teased character that we wish and hope that we can have in the game uh, which would be Red Hood now I talked about several times that Red Hood was leaked to be in the story uh, 
whether or not he's going to be a playable character, which everybody hopes, and I'm pretty sure he'll be a playable character, but if he's going to be a main playable character, who knows, but there is rumor to him having some sort of story arc inside Injustice 2, and as we can see, Batman and Robin working alongside together kind of starts piecing together what I was saying earlier, is that Batman and Robin, Damian Wayne, fix their relationship, uh, you know, Bruce forgives Dick, I mean, Bruce forgives Damian for killing Dick, and uh, they sort of... You know, Batman, Robin Lee bond together, and Red Hood comes in, says, you know what, you let me die, you let Dick die, how about you lose another son, and Jason just gets the gun and fucking blows, you know, Damien's brains right out, and Batman obviously doesn't like that feeling that he let down another son that he should have cared about more, uh, just, you know, adding to the weight that Batman has to carry all along, so here... This is just one of the story arcs that I hope is in the game. It would make a badass thing if it is true. I do not know if it's true or not, but uh, it sounds you know, pretty credible. It sounds like something they would do in Injustice. Um, and also, I mean, just going off of this already, Batman and Robin are seen in trailers working alongside each other. Uh, that is getting slowly to to just confirming the rumor now i'm not saying it's 100 percent confirmed but you know you can take that with a grain of salt and hold it around if you want now the next thing i do want to talk about is arrow yes arrow was shown inside the mobile app arrow uh is pretty much confirmed at this point now a lot of you guys are asking how is he here what is this what are they it's like i said before guys just because a character is dead in the Injustice universe doesn't mean they're dead in the main universe. We can also have characters be pulled from Earth-1 put into this Injustice universe. Uh, just like they did before, how Batman pulled in the rest of them into this universe. Now, what I want to say is that could be the same for Beast Boy. That could be the same for a lot of characters that are dead in the uh, Injustice universe. And also that could be the possibility of Swamp. Why Swamp Thing is back. We last saw Swamp Thing in Hell and uh, they actually put him in the reveal trailer. So how is he back? They'll explain that maybe in the universe. Who knows? But as far as I know, Arrow is going to be in here. Uh, this picture pretty much confirms that along with Captain Cold. I didn't include him in this video. But I'm going to include him in another video that I'm going to do. Now, a lot of you guys are asking, well, if Arrow's here, does that mean we're going to get to see Arsenal? Now, I picked this picture out, guys, because Arsenal is, um, you know, one of the characters uh, that goes under, you know, Arrow's wing, in case you didn't know. And it's getting really big now on, you know, uh, skins. Last Injustice Gods Among Us, we had a Arrow skin from the actual TV show with Stephen Amell voicing Arrow. Um, now, whether or not Roy Harper will do something like that for Arsenal, if they even have an Arsenal, is yet to be confirmed or determined at all. But that would be pretty sick if they did that. I think that if they were going to add Arsenal, he would be a reskin for Arrow, which would be understandable. I mean, I don't think you guys want a, a you know, a Arsenal slot. You know what I mean? That would be kind of, uh, not a waste of a slot, but a waste of a slot. You know what I mean? So uh, hopefully they don't do that. Hopefully they go the route and they throw a reskin on that and we're able to have Arsenal and Arrow and he gets his own armor sets or however that's going to work. Now, something that I do want to talk about is they are, uh, you guys are asking about, you know, Justice League skins and things like that. I believe that they are going to go that route and get skins from, for Supergirl from the CW, uh, from, yeah, the CW show, Arrow CW show, the Flash CW show. Uh, if they got Stephen Amell to do Arrow once, I'm pretty sure they'll get him to do it again. That means maybe Grant Gustin will do Barry Allen this time around. Who knows what the possibilities are endless, but I just want to make this quick video talking to you guys about all this stuff. If you guys like this video, you guys like this little uh, mini, um, pre-release thing for tomorrow uh, i do believe that arrow is going to be the one uh revealed tomorrow in the trailer he was you know pretty pretty much him either if it's him or captain cold now if they do both of them that would work because if they do the shattered alliances part two uh they could actually fit both of those characters just the way they did cyborg i know it'll be kind of lame but at least we get to see more of the story and see how it unfolds guys so hopefully we get something tomorrow we get a definitive character release if not hopefully it's shattered alliances part two but let me know what you guys think if you guys like this video please go ahead and leave a like down on that video if you have anything to say to me please drop a comment in the comment box down there and who knows if you like the content please subscribe uh we do videos almost every day pretty much every day honestly and we do live streams and stuff like that we have our own website so if you want to check any of that out please check out the cycle squad i'm cycle black and i will see you guys in the next video deuces